Permanent versus Induced Magnets by kscience.com This here is a simple bar magnet. On the left I've represented the North Pole and on the right I've represented the South Pole. So these here are the magnetic field lines surrounding a magnet. These magnetic field lines represent the magnetic field of the magnet. And they point from North to South. And we call this a permanent magnet. Because the permanent magnet produces its own magnetic field. So this here is an iron nail. An iron nail is made of iron, which is a magnetic material. However, it's got no magnetic field in itself. So what we're going to do here is we're going to place the iron nail in the magnetic field of the permanent magnet. So this iron nail is now an induced magnet. This is because the magnetic material has now turned into a magnet when it's in a magnetic field. And this is an induced magnet. I'm drawing the magnetic field lines of the induced magnet of the iron nails here. So this iron nail is now an induced magnet. So if we place the iron nail at the south pole of the magnet, this part of the iron nail is north. And there is an attraction between the north pole of the induced magnet of the iron nail and the south pole of the permanent magnet's magnetic field. So the induced magnet, which is the iron nail, becomes magnetized when brought near or into a magnetic field. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. I've got some paper clips here that contain some iron. The paper clips are going to become magnets. They are now induced magnets. Whereby the magnetic field at the top of this paper clip will be a south pole as it is attracted to the north pole of the permanent magnet. And then the north pole of the paper clip will then attract the south pole of another induced magnet. So this paper clip has become induced due to the magnetic field of the permanent magnet, but the paper clip as well. And this third paper clip is actually outside the magnetic field lines of the permanent magnet, but this paper clip becomes an induced magnet due to the magnetic field of the paper clip that it is now attracted to. So this paper clip becomes magnetized when brought near or into a magnetic field because it's an induced magnet. And if we remove this paper clip away from the magnetic field of the paper clip, it no longer has magnetic properties because it is no longer an induced magnet. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.